iPhone 6 rumors claim significant camera upgrades and even pressure sensitivity. Reports claim that the new Samsung TouchWiz will make even stock Android look bad. And we finally get the missing link in the Nexus line launch. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, the more time goes by, the faster my dose of coffee expires. This is Parker Now Daily. Let's begin today with what's official. I'm sure you all remember that there was this uh, gold sandstone variant of the Nexus 9 announced along with the white and the black variants that were launched. Uh, and uh, there was no word as to when this product was going to be available. And the variant is available as of today. You can pick it up for pretty much the same price as every other Nexus 9. But the problem is it's only available in its Wi-Fi variant and you can only buy the 32 gig option, uh, which is really interesting. How many of you were waiting up for this variant? Because I wasn't. And speaking of oddities, I know a ton of us are waiting for our lollipop update on our Moto X, Moto G, or whatever variant we have. As the company has done a terrible job at pushing the update to only certain devices and certain variants, etc. And as it turns out, we have a Motorola executive already apologizing and starting everything by saying peace and then telling us that we will get the update eventually very soon, though no dates were provided. Uh, though he did provide the full list of what devices are getting it. Links in the description for full details on that. Let's shift gears and talk a little about Samsung as we have other credible sources confirming pretty much that we are getting the Galaxy S6 and MWC a full year after the Galaxy S5 was announced. And uh, the report claims that uh, we're getting two variants, the edge design and the flat design, if we could call it that way. Uh, we still don't know exactly how Samsung plans to differentiate this product, but we do know that the company is desperate for a comeback. But in addition to that, it seems that the company is also bringing us a Tizen smartwatch. Uh, we don't know exactly what the difference here would be, but hopefully they get things better this time. And one of the biggest questions that's left for the launch of the Galaxy S6 is what will happen to TouchWiz? A lot of us are unsatisfied with the quality of performance on Galaxy products because of the uh, TouchWiz and uh, reports claim that uh, a company executive that wasn't named is saying that the company is dropping the bloatware fully. Now, dropping the bloatware doesn't necessarily mean that the company is going to change the design. Apparently, they're just getting rid of a lot of features that people don't really use. Uh, hopefully, it means that uh, some of the useful features will remain as Samsung has brought a couple of cool things, even though not all of them. We will see at MWC, hopefully. And finally, for the very interesting rumors of the day, it seems that the iPhone 6S would be more than just a spec upgrade from the iPhone 6. Uh, we've been hearing of Apple working on different camera technologies, and apparently a dual lens design is apparently coming. Uh, we'll see about that. And then a second thing is that apparently the company has figured out how to bring us optical zoom. And we don't know how Apple plans to do that, given the fact that the company prefers to uh, make things thin and light, and that just doesn't go in hand with optical zoom. But uh, we have been hearing of replaceable lenses as part of what the iPhone can bring in the future. And with that uh, camera hump, it could be the case. In addition to that, it seems that the display will bring different pressure sensitivity as we see in the Apple Watch and probably bring new commands. But it really leads me to the question of the day. Given Apple track record, do you believe that uh, Apple will bring these changes on the iPhone 6S or on the iPhone 7? Because in my case, I'll be honest with you, I do feel that that will be an iPhone 7 thing, and the iPhone 6S will be more of a spec bump. That's just the way that Apple does things. But I could be wrong. Leave us a comment down below. What do you think Apple will do? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get those earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on TalkingNow.com and subscribe to YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.